Robert Hunter Biden, born February 4, 1970, is an American lawyer and investment advisor who is the second son of United States President-elect Joe Biden. He is a founding partner of investment and advisory firm Rosemont Seneca Partners. Biden was recruited to the board of Burisma Holdings, one of the largest private natural gas producers in Ukraine, in 2014 and served until his term expired in April 2019. Since the early months of 2019, Hunter Biden and his father have been the subjects of debunked conspiracy theories pushed by U.S. President Donald Trump and his allies concerning Hunter Biden's business dealings and Joe Biden's anti-corruption efforts in Ukraine on behalf of the United States during the time he was vice president. 1. Biden was born on February 4, 1972, in Wilmington, Delaware. He is the second son of Nelia Biden, Nay Hunter, and Joe Biden, who served in the United States Senate from 1973 to 2009 and as Vice President of the United States from 2009 to 2017. 3. Hunter Biden's mother and younger sister Naomi were killed in an automobile crash on December 18, 1972. 4. 5. Biden and his older brother Bo were also seriously injured. 3. Hunter and Bo later encouraged their father to marry again 6, and Jill Jacobs became their stepmother in 1977. 3. Biden's half-sister Ashley was born in 1981. 7. Like his father and brother, Biden attended Catholic High School Archmere Academy in Claymont, Delaware. 3. He graduated with a Bachelor of Arts degree in History from Georgetown University in 1992. 3. During the year after he graduated from college, he served as a Jesuit volunteer at a church in Portland, Oregon and met Kathleen Beulah, whom he married in 1993. 3. After attending Georgetown University Law Center for one year, he transferred to Yale Law School and graduated in 1996. 3. After law school, Biden accepted a position at bank holding company MBNA America, a major contributor to his father's political campaigns. 3. By 1998, Biden had risen to the rank of Executive Vice President 38, and left to serve at the United States Department of Commerce until 2001, focusing on e-commerce policy. 9. Biden became a lobbyist in 2001, co-founding the firm of Oldeker, Biden, and Belair. 10. According to Adam Entos of The New Yorker, Biden and his father established a relationship in which Biden wouldn't ask Hunter about his lobbying clients, and Hunter wouldn't tell his father about them. 3. In 2006, Biden and his uncle James Biden attempted to buy hedge fund group Paradigm, but the deal never materialized. 3. That same year, Hunter Biden was appointed to a five-year term on the board of directors of Amtrak by President George W. Bush. 11. Biden was the board's vice chairman from July 2006 until 2009. He resigned in February 2009, 12-13, leaving both roles shortly after his father became vice president. Biden said during his father's vice presidential campaign that it was time for his lobbying activities to end. 3. Biden is a capital investments professional with an interest in funding early-stage technology companies. In September 2008, Biden launched a consultancy company named Seneca Global Advisors that offered to help companies expand into foreign markets. 14. Biden, Devin Archer and Christopher Hines founded the investment and advisory firm Rosemont Seneca Partners in 2009. 10. He also founded venture capital firm Eudora Global. 7. He held the position of counsel in the law firm Boyce Schiller Flexner LLP in 2014. 3. Biden was on the board of directors of World Food Program USA, a 501c, 3, charity based in Washington, D.C., that supports the work of the UN World Food Program from 2011 to 2017. He served as board chairman from 2011 to 2015. 15. From 2013 to 2020, Biden served as a member of the board of the China-based private equity fund BHR Partners, of which he acquired a 10% stake in 2017. 16. The founders of BHR Partners included Biden's Rosemont Seneca Partners investment firm, 20% equity along with U.S.-based Thornton Group LLC, 10% equity, and two asset managers registered in China. 17-18-14, the Chinese registered asset managers are the Bank of China, via Bach International Holdings backed Bohai Industrial Investment Fund Management, and Deutsche Bank backed Harvest Fund Management. 
19, the BHR Partners Fund invests Chinese venture capital into tech startups like an early stage investment in Chinese car hailing app DD and cross border acquisitions, in automotive and mining, such as the purchase of a stake in Democratic Republic of Congo copper and cobalt producer Tankafungarum Mining. 2021. In September 2019, while President Trump was accusing Hunter Biden of malfeasance in Ukraine, he also falsely claimed that Biden walk ed out of China with $1.5 billion in a fund and earned millions of dollars from the BHR deal. 22-23, Trump publicly called upon China to investigate Hunter Biden's business activities there while his father was vice president. 24-25, Hunter Biden announced on October 13, 2019 his resignation from the board of directors for BHR Partners, effective at the end of the month, citing the barrage of false charges by the president. 26-27, According to his lawyer, Biden had not received any compensation for being on BHR's board of directors nor had he received any return on his equity share in BHR. 28. Biden's lawyer George Messiers told the Washington Post that BHR partners had been capitalized from various sources with a total of 30 million RMB, Chinese renminbi, or about $4.2 million, not $1.5 billion. 22. Biden joined the board of Burisma Holdings owned by Ukrainian oligarch and former politician Mykola Zlotchevsky, who was facing a money laundering investigation just after the Ukrainian revolution, in April 2014. 3 29 Biden was hired to help Burisma with corporate governance best practices, while still an attorney with Boyce Schiller Flexner, and a consulting firm in which Biden is a partner was also retained by Burisma. 32 Christopher Hines, John Kerry's stepson, opposed his partners Devin Archer and Hunter Biden joining the board in 2014 due to the reputational risk. 30. Biden served on the board of Burisma until his term expired in April 2019. 33. Receiving compensation of up to $50,000 per month in some months. 33-32. Because Joe Biden played a major role in U.S. policy towards Ukraine, some Ukrainian anti-corruption advocates 35-36 and Obama administration officials expressed concern that Hunter Biden having joined the board could create the appearance of a conflict of interest and undermine Joe Biden's anti-corruption work in Ukraine. 330. While serving as vice president, Joe Biden joined other Western leaders in encouraging the government of Ukraine to fire the country's top prosecutor Viktor Shokin, 3738, who was widely criticized for blocking corruption investigations. 3940. The Ukrainian parliament voted to remove Shokin in March 2016. 41 42. President Donald Trump and his personal lawyer Rudy Giuliani claimed in 2019, without evidence, that Joe Biden had actually sought the dismissal of Shokin in order to protect his son and Burisma Holdings. In actuality, it was the official policy of the United States and the European Union to seek Shokin's removal. 43 35 37 44 45 there has also been no evidence produced of wrongdoing by Hunter Biden in Ukraine. 46. The Ukrainian Anti-Corruption Investigation Agency stated in September 2019 that its current investigation of Burisma was restricted solely to investigating the period from 2010 to 2012, before Hunter Biden joined Burisma in 2014. 47. Shokin in May 2019 claimed that he was fired because he had been actively investigating Burisma. 48 but U.S. and Ukrainian officials have stated that the investigation into Burisma was dormant at the time of Shokin's dismissal. 3048-49. Ukrainian and United States State Department sources note that Shokin was fired for failing to address corruption, including within his office. 44-36-50. In July 2019, Trump ordered the freezing of $391 million in military aid 51, shortly before a telephone conversation with Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky in which Trump asked Zelensky to initiate an investigation of the Bidens. 52-53, Trump falsely told Zelensky that, Joe, Biden went around bragging that he stopped the prosecution of his son, Joe Biden did not stop any prosecution, did not brag about doing so, and there is no evidence his son was ever under investigation. 54, the United States House of Representatives initiated a formal impeachment inquiry on September 24, 2019 against Trump on the grounds that he may have sought to use U.S. foreign aid and the Ukrainian government to damage Joe Biden's 2020 presidential campaign. 55-56, 
Ukrainian Prosecutor General Yuri Lutsenko said in May 2019 that Hunter Biden had not violated Ukrainian law. After Lutsenko was replaced by Ruslan Ryabashapka as Prosecutor General, Lutsenko and Ryabashapka said in September and October 2019 respectively that they had seen no evidence of wrongdoing by Hunter Biden. 37-57-58 during 2019 and into 2020, Republican Senators Ron Johnson and Chuck Grassley quietly investigated Biden's involvement with Burisma, as well as allegations that Democrats colluded with the Ukrainian government to interfere in the 2016 election. The chairman of the Senate Intelligence Committee Republican Senator Richard Burr privately expressed concerns to the senators that their inquiries could assist efforts by Russian intelligence to spread disinformation to disrupt American domestic affairs. 59. American intelligence officials briefed senators in late 2019 about Russian efforts to frame Ukraine for 2016 election interference. 60. Johnson said he would release findings in spring 2020, as Democrats would be selecting their 2020 presidential nominee, but instead ramped up the investigation at Trump's urging in May 2020, after it became clear Biden would be the nominee. 61-62. Trump tweeted a press report about the investigations, later stating that he would make allegations of corruption by the Bidens a central theme of his re-election campaign. 60. Johnson decided in March 2020 against issuing a subpoena for former Ukrainian official Andriy Tolizenko, a Giuliani associate who had made appearances on the pro-Trump cable channel One America News, after the FBI briefed him about concerns Tolizenko could be spreading Russian disinformation. 63. CNN reported that Vladislav Davidson, the editor of Ukrainian magazine The Odessa Review, told CNN that in 2018 Tolizenko offered him money to lobby Republican senators in support of pro-Russian television stations in Ukraine. 64. When Johnson released the final report on the investigation, it contained no evidence that Joe Biden had pushed for Shokin's removal in order to benefit Hunter or Burisma. 65-66